Hello, dear viewer. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to create a book, which I later published on Amazon. In this video, I explained how to create images needed for the book using ChatGPT and the Leonardo AI service. Today, I discovered the best prompt generator for interacting with ChatGPT and Leonardo AI. It's an impressive tool for creating prompts to generate images. It's so simple that it's just amazing. You just need to replace one keyword with another each time you use it. Today, I'll show you in detail how to use this fantastic prompt generator. In the video description, there's a link where you can access this prompt generator and use it at your discretion. Just copy and paste the required text to create your unique images. The process is extremely simple. Open the section called ChatGPT Leonardo AI Super Prompt. Don't be alarmed by what you see. I won't read it in full, but what we need to do is simply copy and paste the entire text of this prompt into ChatGPT. Make sure that after copying the text, ChatGPT understands your request, and you can start using it immediately. Let's see. Let's go back to ChatGPT and paste the copied prompt. It's an extensive prompt that I added. Click send and see what happens. Immediately, ChatGPT says, absolutely, I'm ready. Please provide the keyword and I'll generate the prompts as per the given guidelines. Our task is to give ChatGPT a clear task of what we want to receive. Since my channel logo is an owl, I'll use the keyword, owl. And then ChatGPT does exactly what is expected of it. For some reason, it provided the information in the form of code. I tell it, write it as text, not as code. ChatGPT immediately gives the required text. As you can see, we got three prompt variations. The first one is photorealistic images. And here's its full description. The second is artistic image and its full description. The third is realistic photography and its full description. I copy the text of the first prompt. On the Leonardo AI page, I select the model type SDXL 0.9 and paste the copied text into the type per prompt field. I click the generate button. After a few seconds, I get an owl image. It turned out quite well. I changed the model type to 3D animation style. I click the generate button. As you can see, the same prompt, but completely different images. I experiment further and change it to the anime pastel dream model. As you can see, the owl looks quite realistic. Using the Leonardo Diffusion XL model, The system also creates decent owl images. Now let's try using the second prompt, called Artistic Image. I copy the prompt text. Select the model type SDXL 0.9. And paste the copied text into the type per prompt field. I click the Generate button. As you can see, the system gave me images in a mysterious but interesting color. I experiment further, as in the previous prompt. I change the model type to 3D animation style. I click the generate button. Here it's some kind of fantasy. Our human. I try absolute reality. I understand that the second type of prompt works for creating cosmic characters.
Now let's try the third option. Realistic photography. I copy the prompt text. I paste the copied text into the type a prompt field, marking the model type as SDXL 0.9. As you can see, the images look completely different. Now we see an owl in flight. Again, I change the model types. Personally, I liked the images when I used the first prompt, photorealistic images. I wonder what will happen if, for example, I change the owl to a lion. I write to ChatGPT. The bot immediately gives three prompts, but now all ready for generating lion images. I go through the same steps as in the previous case. I copy. I paste the copied text into the type per prompt field. I mark the model type as SDXL 0.9. Wow! I'm thrilled! A real photograph of a lion in the savannah. I try further. Class! I know for sure that I wouldn't be able to create such a prompt on my own. The fantastic lion also looks great. Well, what can I say? The prompt generator for creating images in Leonardo AI is just a great find. I recommend using it in your work. And I'll say goodbye to you. Until the next meeting.